Hi, I'm Mark Tuart, and I'm the author of How to Be a Sales Superstar, Break All the Rules, and Succeed While Doing It. I want to talk to you about Chapter 12 of this book, and the title of Chapter 12 is, I'll Take Door Number Two. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about, first of all, a mindset. Let's talk about the mindset of selling. There was a famous advertising man who wrote a book, uh, Scientific Advertising, his name was Claude Hopkins. And he had a little phrase, he said, you must enter into the conversation already going on in the customer's mind. And I have a little saying called TLC, think like a customer. Same thing, you must enter into the conversation already going on in the customer's mind. Not your conversation in your mind as a salesperson, but the one that a customer is thinking. I was told when I got into sales to think like a salesperson. Bad idea. I invite you to think like a customer. What are they thinking? What are they feeling? What are their fears? And address them up front. Do not, do not think about yourself. You can't have empathy when you're just thinking about yourself. The late great blues guitarist, Luther Allison, he had a great little quote. He said, love the people, leave your ego, play the music. Well, the same thing applies in sales. You gotta love the people. Leave your ego and what you're thinking about and what your issues are and then think about the customer and what their issues are, what they're thinking are, what their fears are and then pre be proactive to those fears. I want you to set the environment. I want you to give them a show. I want you to think that if you were looking to buy a car or a house or a water softener, what would you want in that demonstration? What would you want that presentation that would be about the customer, not about you? I'm going to say something controversial. Anybody can learn product knowledge, and it's important, but that's not truly what sells. People don't buy features, and they don't even buy the benefits, which has been taught for 50 or 100 years in sales. What they truly buy is the way you deliver the story that relates to them in their heart and their minds that illustrates the feature giving the benefit. So it's a little bit more than feature benefit presentations. If you're doing that, you're 50 years behind the time. And that's still what's being taught. You see, you got to be able to think like the customer, deliver what they want, and you got to be able to utilize a few keys to success. Energy and enthusiasm, emotion, humor and your message and all of those different things get the message uh, through if you don't have the right energy if you don't have the right enthusiasm if you don't have the right emotion in your presentation if you don't utilize some humor the best message on earth will never get heard that's what I mean by I'll take door number two why do they choose door number two versus number one it's not just blind it's because they got excited about you. You're the difference. The salesperson always makes the difference. You are the difference between somebody choosing another commodity at a different price. You're the difference. When somebody says that price is the final decision, well it is if all things are equal. You have to make you, your product, your environment, the way you stage it, not equal. If you are selling a car, don't go on a two mile test drive, go on a 20 mile test drive. Don't go through just a city, go through different uh, types of driving. Give the customer an experience. I don't care if you're selling a camera. Get the customer involved and show them how fantastic it is. If it's a house, stage it correctly. No matter what you do in life, give them the Disneyland effect. Do bigger and more than what anybody else is doing. I'm the author of How to Be a Sales Superstar. Get the first chapter of this book for free at my website at marktewart.com. That's M-A-R-K-T-E-W-A-R-T.com. You can call us at 888-2-TEWART. And I appreciate you tuning in for this. Look for some more video tips. Thanks and good selling.